Also new tonight, we've learned the identity of the man now charged with manslaughter in the death of a town of Salamanca couple. Meantime, we're also learning more about Michael and Donna Phillips, who are also the town supervisor and the town clerk elect. Channel 2's Erica Brecker here now with more about the driver who's charged with hitting and killing them and about the couple a Southern Tier community is now mourning. Erica. Ron, today we learned 27 year old Kevin Donaldson Jr. is charged with DWI and two counts of manslaughter. He remains in jail pending a court appearance tomorrow. We spoke to his mother today who says Donaldson is devastated and remorseful. We also talked with the community trying to come to terms with this tremendous loss. If he tried to stop, it just wasn't soon enough. Tammy Merrick, Kevin Donaldson Jr.'s mother, says her son is the kind of person who never got in trouble. But the Cattaraugus County Sheriff's Office suspects drinking was involved in the crash that killed Michael and Donna Phillips Friday night as they were crossing the street to Salamanca's town hall. He is totally and completely devastated. He tried helping the people. He is so remorseful. The town is devastated too. Donna Phillips was a recent retiree from the Salamanca City School District. Mike Phillips had already been town supervisor for quite some time. Both had retired and volunteered to serve their town. You'd think most people would just sit back and relax, but, but no, they, they saw the need for um, something in the town of Salamanca where, where Mike felt that he wanted to give back to the community. We'll have to have a meeting and see where we go beyond that. I mean, they have deputies, but the deputies are people that just to help fill in. Council member Larry Stewart says the board isn't sure what comes next. They may have to find people to fill the supervisors and clerks positions until the next election. Outside town hall on Sunday, the American flag is at half staff. You couldn't ask for better people. They go out of the way to help you and with anything. They had a wonderful marriage, they had a wonderful son, and um, grandkids. Donaldson is expected to appear, appear in town court tomorrow at 6 p.m. The town council meets next on December 27th. Erica Brecker, Channel 2 News.